Okay, we're going to try out some of the X64 apps on the Surface Pro X. Uh, let's start off with Blender. So these have all been launched on this boot. Um, they're still taking a little bit longer than they should uh, to launch. You can see this is still loading. There we go. And straight away you can see we've got some graphical corruption on the splash screen. But otherwise, uh, this isn't bad. And it's actually reasonably smooth. Mm, zooming's a little bit off, but you can see we can spin that around, we can view material shading, we can view wireframe, and as long as you remember to change from EV to cycles first, we can even see uh, the viewport in real-time rendering. Uh, and just to highlight that, let's create plane here so that we can see some shadows and let's even give that plane a new material that is something a bit shinier. Uh, so we've got some real-time ray tracing going on there, not particularly quick but not bad. And if we try and render that at many higher samples you can see that's really slow, that's, that's not something you want to be doing uh, regularly. Uh, I have found that if we try and go to EV rendering in the viewport, it either crashes or, as in this case, the materials have just disappeared. They're not rendering at all. And the environment mapping is doing weird things. Um, so, yeah, usable. It's reasonably quick. Um, but you don't want to be doing any rendering on this. Okay, so next up, let's try Krita. So this is installed from the Microsoft Store. It's the X64 version, which means it doesn't appear in the store unless you're on the latest Insider builds uh, with X64 compatibility. Again, as with Blender, you can see this thing is taking a little while to load up here. But then once it does, it's actually pretty performant. So let's create a new document. This is pretty big, 3,500 by 2,400 pixels. Let's create that. And there we go. And so let's take a decent brush. There we go. Everything's working pretty smoothly. Canvas moves around nicely. Uh, even the mixer brushes are pretty quick in performance. This is really nice. And let's bring out some of the uh, pencil tools so we can see tilt is working. Hopefully you can see that. Let's try making that a bit bigger. So that's really nice. Krita works really well. Next let's try uh, Photoshop. So this is the native ARM beta released by Adobe recently. Uh, you can't actually install the x64 versions even with the latest Insider build. They just don't show up in Creative Cloud. So let's create a new document here. Uh, we'll go for a similar sort of size in pixels. I forget what it was. I think it was about 3,000 by 2,500-ish. Let's create that. And there we go. And you can see that that's not really as smooth as Krita was. Um, the pen's pretty good. It follows nicely, but there is a little bit of lag there. Let's see what we got, something a bit different here. There we are. Pressure's working. If we go to the mixer brush... Oh, that didn't take as the mixer brush, there we go. There's a couple of bugs in, in this beta. It works well enough. Not as well as Krita, but if you need Photoshop, that works. Okay, so finally 
I'll show you Affinity. As always, Affinity are kind of neglecting Windows. They've said on their forums they need Microsoft to make the .NET framework uh, ARM compatible before they can update their apps, so we're waiting on that. Hopefully that'll come soon. So this is the X64 app just installed on the Insider Preview. Takes a little while to load. Still loading. There we go. Now the problem is, as soon as you create a new document, it asks you what size you want to create. It doesn't matter what you select. As soon as you hit create, uh, it thinks for a moment and then it just crashes ungracefully. So a bit of a mixed bag. The software I use does work at a pinch, but not super quick. Uh, to show you something that works really well, there's OneNote. It loads almost instantly and just works really, really well. So it can, programs can work well on the Pro X. Um, hopefully in the coming months we'll see better x64 support and more native binaries.